Hey guys, this is Cecil from Fast Food Twist Cooking Channel, and I want to bring you something that I feel is so delicious. This isn't the typical fast food that I make for this channel. This would take you a little bit of time, but I tell you it's worth it. I want to explain to you what I'm doing here. So of course, I always try to save people money and give you recipes that aren't gonna be like a million products. So what we do here is boil this chicken. Chicken drums are obviously cheaper than the other parts. So what we do is boil it to get it ready, get it hot. And that's the first part of how we're gonna cook it. And then we're gonna take it and cut the pieces so that they're smaller, so that they go in the chunks. Oh yeah, boil it on 30 minutes on high or until it's done. Then I use the scissors to cut off that piece of hard fat that's on the uh, chicken legs. You don't want none of that in there. And I'll tell you why I do it this way, because boiling it makes it soft. And then in this way, when you, you're gonna saute it, and I put in a little too much oil, now definitely not perfect, but to spice it and get things into chicken, you wanna, if you have to fry it, saute it, but a thing with chicken is so good because of if you use breading and if you deep fry it, but then you a lot of times it doesn't have flavor on the inside. But something like this, you can put flavor in it and then you'll see what we're gonna do next. And since it's already been boiled, you really are just trying to get the flavor in there with sauteing it. So only two minutes. Now, if you ever had teriyaki madness, they have this spicy chicken, and this is the part where it gets really good. We grill it so we get the smoke flavor in there. And obviously now we have the spices, we have it soft like we want it. We sauteed it with the spices in there, and we're gonna grill it and get it ready for that smoke flavor. Now let's see, I wish I put a more spices on there, but this still came out perfect. But the start of the show is the sauce. This sauce is amazing. And the only problem is even though it's in, the link is in the description, it always sells out. If you get this spice, it's the Korean sweet and spicy sauce is just amazing. I'm telling you, it was, it's the best. So the link is in the description. It's gonna sell out again like it always does. But once you try this, you're gonna thank me for it if you haven't put Korean barbecue sauce on, on your chicken before, and these chicken chunks, it just makes a great meal with full of flavor, and it's not gonna cost you a ton of money. And I just kept it sweet and simple with some broccoli. Of course, you can put some rice and whatever other sides you want. Mac and cheese would be awesome too, but this is gonna make your day. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back with more videos. We're changing things up. We can't do the same thing as everybody else.